Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now in the last episode, if you don't remember, we arrived in this kingdom, I forgot the name of it, but we fought one of the Brutals and in this episode we're going to head to the top of this mountain over here. I don't know if it qualifies as a mountain, but we're going to go up there and we're going to see what's up there because we saw a UFO flying around there and we just want to see what's going on. Now while we're heading up there, I'll just casually talk to you guys. Uh, I get a five day weekend right now because I have Saturday and Sunday of course and then I have Monday off because I think that's President's Day or some sort of holiday, I forget. And then on, uh, on Tuesday it's a it's a sort of way to let the teachers transition from being in online school to being in physical school because some kids are going back to physical school now. I'm not going to because me and my parents just want everything to be 100% safe when I go back to school. But yeah, some kids are going back to school and then I always get Wednesday off because that's kind of like an asynchronous day where I just do assignments that I haven't done yet. So yeah, I, I get a bunch of time to record, I guess. <laughs> okay, we got these tank guys here, which are really fun to play as. I think that's enough, but I'm uncertain. Oh, crud. I probably should just make one, like, simple path without any wall left in it, but I'm stubborn. I'll just go ahead and do it anyway. Freaking... Go. <laughs> I'm gonna say die, but then, like... In my head, I was like, what if that's- what if YouTube demonetizes me for that, but I don't know. I don't know why I was trying to aim using gyroscope controls, especially when I'm recording using an Elgato and it's like weird. I don't know why I di didn't use the right stick from the start. I, I also don't know why it's not letting me move the camera, but I guess I'll just have it go like that until we actually do have the ability. These little things. They remind me of the Yoshi from Galaxy 2 when he ate the little fiery fruit or whatever it was called and his like tongue got really hot so he just gained a burst of speed. So now what we have to do is we have to shoot these Bowser faces. So yeah, Bowser's behind whatever's at the top of the mountain here. Or at least he's behind blocking them. We saw it move to the top of the mountain earlier, so we can assume that Bowser was here very recently. I don't know why I'm trying to make like a logical through line in a Mario game. <laughs> Because it's just like, oh, Bowser locked this thing up. There's a UFO on top of here. <laughs> like, that's all there is to it. And I'm just like, hmm, it seems like Bowser had a very short time frame between the locking up of the UFO and the... I'm just weird like that. I like making timelines, and if he likes watching me make timelines, then head on over to my second t channel, TGM The Game Nerd 2, because I do that a lot over there. But anyways, now we have a uh, new boss fight, which is going to be like the main boss fight of this world. I forgot what this kingdom was called. But anyways, we'll just move on. I feel like I say but anyways way too much. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Must have all the flowers. Do not mess with me, biped. So 
So this guy... I don't know his name. He's a pretty simple boss fight. You just go to the centers of these weird cubes. You grow into them until they break. And then you grow into this glass dome with the flowers in them. So you can try and raise them. Just like any boss fight in the Mario game, you have to do it three times. Now it's phase one, so we need to start looking out because the boss fight is going to get slightly harder. Shouldn't be too bad though because it's a Mario game. Not to say the Mario games are always inherently easy, it's just that, you know, it's rated E for everyone, so it's obviously not going to have Dark Souls level difficulty like some people think Crash Bandicoot has. <laughs> That article was like years ago though, so I don't know why I'm bringing it up now. Yeah, his laser attacks are getting much more difficult to- well, not more difficult to avoid, but you have to actually put more effort into avoiding them. I guess it's the best way to describe it. Should be the final hit. One. Two. Unless I'm really bad at math. Yep, there we go. And we got our next multi moon. <laughs> Defend the secret flower field. Sorry if you hear noises in the background, that's just my family doing stuff. Cause you know, I can't completely stop them from doing anything when recording my videos. That'd just be selfish. So yeah, now that we've defeated the boss fight, we need to go around and collect some power moons. This might take a bit, cause you can see how far we have to go. I might end the video before we have completely gotten all of them. So we've got this pipe down here. I think this can lead us to two different moons. Yeah, that's our first one. Flooding the pipe. The I didn't get to read it. <laughs> oh. I won't be collecting the purple coins, by the way, because I feel that's more like a thing to aim for in the post game. I almost died there, so I'm glad I was able to get out of there in time. Uh, I believe those are called fuzzies? I forget. I haven't played, like, Paper Mario in a while, so I don't really remember those. I know they're- I don't think they're from Paper Mario. I think they're from one game before that. I know they're not from Mario 2. I don't know, I'll, I'll go ahead and show on screen what the first game they appeared in was. These parts are always a bit annoying, the ones where you completely lose Cappy. It's kind of like the flood sections from Mario Sunshine- or the floodless sections, I should- I should say, from Mario Sunshine. By the way, if you want me to do a uh, Let's Play of Mario Sunshine, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, it'll- it won't be too long of a Let's Play but it'll certainly be a fun one, because, in my opinion, Sunshine's a pretty good game. I know a lot of people say that it strays pretty far from the Mario formula, but so does Odyssey, and it's a pretty good game. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense, honestly. <laughs> Because, like, I, I say something and then I, like, take a few seconds to think to myself, is what I'm saying making sense at all?
Yeah. Some of those floodless sections can be annoying in Mario Sunshine, but... I don't know. The game is still fun to play in my eyes. Speaking of games that I wanna let's play, I have a poll going in my community tab. I don't know if it expired or something like that, or, or if polls can even expire. But... It's basically a poll on whether people would wanna watch me play Ace Attorney next or Sonic Adventure next. And so far, it's leaning in the favor of Sonic Adventure, which I personally think is best because if I just go through and completely just do all of the games that I haven't finished yet, then I feel like I'll kind of get burnt out on it again, which is exactly why I t didn't finish the Let's Plays in the first place. So yeah, I'll be taking breaks in, bet in between doing the Let's Plays uh, that I've already done by doing Let's Plays that I just want to do. Like Sonic Adventure and maybe I'll do some Mario Sunshine as well if you guys want that. I, I think that'd be pretty cool. I like these moments where I just get to talk to you guys about stuff, you know? Instead of just just stating what's going on in front of me, I just get to speak to you guys on a more not really personal level, but just I get to talk about whatever I want to talk about, which I think is why I made TG in the Game Nerd 2 in the first place. Was because on this channel I made a video talking about the Mario timeline. And everyone hated that video. The point where I had to like my own video. Uh, in order to try to balance out the likes and dislikes, which I realize now is weird. But, yeah, no one liked the video, so I just took it down. Because it strayed pretty far from what my channel normally does. Because originally, I did the thing where... I did my first uh, Wario Land Let's Play, and I was like, yeah, I kind of like this, but I stopped after a couple of episodes, because... I realized I've never played Wario Land before, and so I was just bad at the game, and I realized people don't want to watch this. They want to watch someone who's actually good at the game. Or at least someone who's funny. And at that time, I did non-commentary Let's Plays, so there's no way in hell I was being funny. So I realized, yeah, no one wants to watch this. I'm not even good at it, so I'll just go for a bit. And then afterwards, I realized that, hey, because uh, I started watching some of the, like, videos by, like, the completionist and stuff like that. And so I was like, hey, I want to do something where I kind of review games and stuff like that. So I decided to make a couple of videos on doing that. I don't know how I didn't die there. But anyways, I did that for a bit, and I was like, you know what, this isn't what I want to do. Because just in, because I like watching it, doesn't mean that I want to do it. I don't even know if I'm still making sense anymore. But... Yeah, so I went on and I decided, hey, I'm just gonna go back to doing Let's Plays, and I think I started doing this game as a Let's Play. And I was like, oh, some people are doing multiple games at a time, so I was like, maybe I'll do Pokemon Red. And then later I realized, dude, you just got back into Let's Playing, don't try to do two Let's Plays at a time. Which I don't think I'll ever do again, because it's really hard to keep a consistent schedule with two games running at the same time. And then my channel started really picking up with my Hello Neighbor videos, because I like Hello Neighbor. And it just, it was, it was fun to play on the channel. And so I was like, okay, people like this. So I did a couple more Hello Neighbor videos. And then I kind of went back to my normal YouTube stuff where I'd just do any game that I wanted to play at the time. And my views started to slow down. But eventually, one of my Hello Neighbor videos hit 1 million views. And it's almost at 2 million now. And I'm very thankful for that. Thank you all so much. And so, I was like, hey, people like what I do. And then no one watched my videos anymore. 
Uh, not to say that I'm not very grateful for everything that's happened, but I just think it's funny that I, that once I was like, hey, people like my stuff, and then I uploaded another video and it got like four views. <laughs> Again, I don't mean to sound like I don't care. I do care. I genuinely do want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. And then, after a while, I went up from like 18 subscribers to 20 and I'm like, oh cool! It happened overnight so I was like, two people found my stuff and de decided to subscribe. And then the next day, after I got home from school, they went up to 30 views, or 30 subscribers. And I was like, Jesus, that's 10 subscribers in a day! And then the next video, or the next video, <laughs> the next day, it was 40 subscribers. The next day it was 50. Then 60. Then 70. And eventually I got up to 100 and I was like, holy crap. And so then afterwards, uh, later in the summer, I decided to, or my family decided that we were going to all go on like a summer trip to Seattle. And on that road trip is when I hit, hit 1,000 subscribers. And I just want to thank you all so much for supporting me on my journey uh, in the YouTube in general. So yeah, thank you all so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye